one thing I love about my community is even though not a lot of us have a lot, when a disaster happens, we always come together. The day the fire happened, I remember my grandpa, who is a volunteer firefighter, he called my grandma and told her the fire was five feet from the back of the house. And I remember after she got that call, I went to the bathroom and I prayed that God would take my house instead of theirs because my grandma has medical issues. and. I knew she wouldn't be able to afford all of that again. And that is exactly what he did. They, they don't train you for that as, as an educator. We have a saying in our County 4-H program, leave things better than you found them. And if she hasn't done that in the last year especially, uh, I don't know what is leaving things better than you found them. Woodard's workshops are agricultural based lessons where I can educate community members and mostly youth on why agriculture is so important to everybody. Teaching my workshops and doing what I love doing definitely brings peace to mind and calmness to my heart, especially through all the hardships. And then just out of nowhere, I would get calls from educators from other counties asking me if I could go teach my workshops at a day camp that they were having or if I would go talk to their youth leadership team or something like that about it. But I definitely feel like I have made an impact to those 40,000 youth that I have taught. Over here in Pittsburgh County, we have a lot of children who grow up under the poverty line. I, along with other adults and youth, came together and we decided we wanted to start a community garden so the people who did not have a lot could go out there and just pick vegetables whenever they needed to. 4-H is the organization that taught me all of the skills that I have now so I could talk to people in my community so that we could rally together and do something phenomenal. We can't go pretty much anywhere anymore without some little kid screaming her name. You know, it, it don't matter where we go. It's, there's a kid somewhere that knows us, knows her, because of these workshops that she does, because of all the other things she does. She's blowing my mind. The day after the fire, it was in that moment when I realized what an impact my family and I had had on our community. I had a belt buckle that I won in 2015 for being an outstanding volunteer in Pittsburgh County and that was the one thing that we found that survived from my room. And I told my educator, I sent him a picture of it and he said, we'll get you a new one right away. 4-H. It has taught me even when things don't necessarily go your way, you just have to keep pushing forward. You can't dwell on the bad things forever because positive things are, gonna, are bound to happen. Just sometimes you have to look for them a little harder. That's what keeps me pushing forward.